Are you looking for an arch-based distribution that just works right out of the box? Why don't you check out CTK Arch right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. So far, I like what I see here. I've had a chance to explore this. We are looking at CTK Arch Live. And this I've actually uh, booted using the option to load everything into RAM. And I'm telling you what, I like what I see. This gives you a brief overview of some of the things you can look for. By pressing Alt F1, you can open up the terminal. You can execute a command by Alt F2. Alt F3 opens your file manager. And there's a button to the documentation. And of course, pretty much the documentation is just telling you that CTK Arch is not a distribution. It is a pre-configured desktop setup of the Arch Linux GNU Linux distribution. This document only contains the details specific to CTK Arch. For everything else, please visit the Arch Wiki. Well, isn't that interesting? All right, this uses the FB panel. I like how this looks, actually. Okay, this comes pre-installed with uh, a few audio and video programs. It has uh, the Tux Racer installed with this. Gives you a few graphics tools that you can work with. Uh, you have some network uh, items as well, such as uh, Midori, a lightweight web browser. You also get WIPD for managing your Wi-Fi uh, easily, and uh, a few other LOI applications. Uh, you get a few uh, Office programs, nothing too fancy. You get a render for managing your video display, open box configuration manager, you can customize the look and feel, all of that is here. You have a few other little system tools which, which uh, will help you uh, get the most out of the system. And then a few little utilities such as your file manager, leaf pad, xcalc, and xarchiver. In the file manager it looks like this is using, is this Dunar or is this PC Man FM? That's what I use myself. Let's have a quick look at the installer, shall we? All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, go into System and CTK Arch Installer. Password is Tor. And NCurse's Launcher will begin. Okay, this has pretty much a similar installation that ArchBang has, so I'm just going to quickly run through this. We're going to set date and time, UTC. Okay, I'm in America. And then N for New York. Okay, today's date, that looks good. Time looks great. Okay, and then we'll go into disk preparation. I'm going to go into assisted preparation. Erases the whole disk. That looks great for the boot partition. That looks great for swap. That looks great for root. Okay, and then rest for the home partition. Wonderful. Okay, and then I will want ext4. Okay, and yes, we do want that to go. And wait till that finishes. Wow, I didn't even have to stop the video. That went quickly. Okay, so it just gave me a message saying that it was finished. Okay, and then we'll just go into main menu, and then we will now select install system. And then we'll press OK, and we'll wait for that to finish. Installation has succeeded. Let's continue. Uh... Do you want to copy the current personal folder into the installation? Why not? Press enter to continue. Uh, why not? Yeah, why not? Okay, now we got to configure the system. Alright, we'll change the root password. Okay, and then we'll create a username. Zip bada boom. Okay, change the user password. Eh, no, I didn't want to do that. Okay, and then we'll configure the system. Okay, this is all the fun stuff. 
follow the Arch Wiki, it will give you a full explanation of everything that you will want to edit in this file. Uh, pretty much as this stated, so um, I'm not going to cover that. I've already covered that in the Archbang boot camp and that sort of thing. Uh, so I'm good with what we've got here. Okay, and then we'll go back to the main menu. And it will go through all of its little mumbo jumbo. Okay, that didn't take very long. Now we'll install bootloader. We want grub. And okay. I'm happy with that. SDA, that's fine. Okay, and let's quit. Installation finished. All right, let's go ahead and reboot this thing. Well, let's see if it works. Go ahead and start booting this sucker up. All right, this booted up nicely for me. I'm on the uh, ctkarch.org uh, site, which uh, the, the, is the default page here in Midori for you. Uh, you can easily get to the documentation on this thing. Make sure that when you do install this, though, you go through uh, the part that I skipped, actually. You're going to need to go through and do the mirror lists and that sort of thing. But this is by no means a tutorial at all. I just wanted to play with installing this, and I figured I'd go through that quickly on here. So pretty much all the documentation on this is here on the on this website, and anything that isn't covered here is covered in the Arch Wiki. All in all, this should save some people some time. I like what I'm seeing here. I think this is very nice for what they have put together in a small, uh, lightweight operating system. I think this is really cool, and it will be a great gateway to Arch for a number of you people out there, who, especially with uh, Wi-Fi issues and that sort of thing, and you don't want to sit down and muck about with uh, typing in all the commands for the WPA supplicants and um, creating those files and trying to get everything to work. I know for some of you people you've had some difficulties with it. It really isn't that hard. The Arch Wiki does cover all that information. Now, once uh, Arch has a new image uh, coming out, I would like to start an Arch series. Hopefully they'll have uh, a, a system image uh, coming up that will address all the Pac-Man issues and that sort of thing that some of you have been experiencing because I'm a little bit gray in that area myself. I admit I am, you know, I'm just a user. I'm not a programmer and I don't have the 0101 mind up here. But all in all, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Uh, somebody who suggested this thought this belonged in the Hall of Shame. I don't think so. I think this is great and this will be a great gateway for Arch for some of you who want to give it a try. So far, I like what I see. Mm -hmm.